Welcome to the Penny Black tutorial on using mica for a split negative technique. For this project we will be using the clear stamp set Winter Whites and Greens. First of all I'll show you how to create this circle. I've taken a piece of craft foam and cut it with a Spellbinders circle die. I'm then going to attach it to acrylic block using a Pritt stick. Don't worry, this will easily peel off when you have finished your project. I've now created a stamp that I'm going to ink with Versamark ink. I'm then going to stamp directly onto a piece of white card. I'm then taking some mica pigment. I'm using some by Luminart but you can use Perfect Pearls or other branded pigments to achieve the same effect. I'm carefully rubbing the pigment over the card and it is adhering to the area that has been inked. If you are using a pigment that doesn't have a binder in it, you may need to seal this when you have finished your project. After rubbing off the excess mica pigment, I'm now going to ink up the flower stamp again with Versamark ink. I'm then going to stamp the flower across the circle that has been covered with mica pigments. The Versamark will actually remove the pigment from the circle. I'm then going to take some more pigment and just gently rub around the edge where the flower and the petals have overlapped, removing excess as I go. Be careful not to get any on this inner circle part. Then take a piercing bug to pierce holes all the way around the edge of the card. I run this little bug along the edge and then to get a more defined hole I go over it again with a piercing tool. The image is then mounted onto Fall Festival mix and match cardstock. To decorate the card base I've taken a plain white square card blank and I'm going to distress the edges with Rusty Hinge Distress Ink. Work from the craft sheet onto the card, going lighter as you go towards the centre of the card. Once you have completed this, you can then go round the edge again with Barn Door Distress Ink. Finally, ink up the flower again with barn door and decorate the edges. When complete, add foam pads to the back of your main image and then adhere to your card. The final step will then be to glue a bow onto the flower and this will then complete your card.
Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit my blog.